Hi guys, this is going to be a little bit different kind of video. It's pertaining to my makeup storage and a little change that I made to the way I've got everything set up here. And the thing that prompted all of this was a video that I found from Jessica Braun. She's great here on YouTube. I recently found her and I'm really glad I did. She's got great videos, um, just great, useful content, fun to watch. like her a lot. And the first video I saw from her was sh her showing her everyday makeup drawer, I think she may have called it. Basically, she took one drawer of her makeup storage and really organized the things in there that she wanted to use on a daily basis. I noticed she had some things in there that might have been a little bit older products like rediscovered type things and maybe some newer things as well and I thought that's really what I need to do with my makeup storage because I love shopping my stash. As we say, I love going through my older things and kind of pulling things out that I haven't used in a while, things that have been neglected, and putting them in a little basket so I'll remember to use them. Well, that basket always gets like covered up by something else or it gets pushed aside. For whatever reason, it's become very easy for me to make a mess, especially with all this holiday palette stuff, and ignore the basket. So I thought if I kind of shift things around in my storage and open up that top drawer that's kind of under my desk here. Put a few little clear kind of storage elements in there and I can put the things that I've shot my stash for in here or maybe there will be some newer things that I really want to make a point to use. Whatever the case may be, I'll fill it with every type of makeup, face products, eye products, lip products that I really want to make sure that I use. But I plan to fully swap this drawer out like on a monthly basis. It may not make a whole lot of sense, but I really want to keep it fresh with old things. <laughs> you know, I want to put those things in there that have not get, been seeing enough use and um, keep them fresh in my mind. And something about having them in that drawer, it's like that is a drawer I'm going to open. They have their own space. It's easy to get some of these new fabulous things and be like, oh, it's new. I love it. You know, but we really want to stay rooted in some of the things that you've been trying for a long time. And the drawers that I have, these are the Ikea Alex drawers, the wider ones that I have here. And I'm just using my top drawer for this. All righty. So this is the drawer. <laughs> Um, as you can see, I've got a few little storage thingamajigs in here. Um, this is just a little random container that happened to fit that space, a long skinny container. And then this whole big thing right here, from like here over, is a storage container that I got at Target. And then this one right here, I believe I found that at TJ Maxx, and it had a few little lift-out compartments. So I took out some of the dividers so I would have a couple of longer areas to put things in. But let's just go through really quickly um, some of the different things that I have in here that I wanted to try. That NYX HD foundation that was featured in my um, favorites and duds video. Again, not really sure what to think of this thing. It's not doing a lot for me, but I'm still kind of playing with it with different foundations. Oops, that's supposed to be in here. I had a couple of the Infallible Pro Matte foundations that I just wasn't using too much, um, and I had to have a couple colors because the first shade I got was vastly dark for me. So I had 107 Fresh Beige, which is this, but this is the one that ended up working, and that is, sorry, 104 Golden Beige. So I've been using those more. I thought they kind of separated a little bit on me, but apparently I've shaken them to the point that they're not separated anymore, so whatevs. Um, this is my NYX CC Cream, kind of a color correcting peach type cream. Um, so I've been playing with that some more. I've got my IT Cosmetics bronzer type thing because I wanted to continue kind of blending that in with other foundations. My old standby Revlon Color Stay. Um, been wanting to use my Estee Lauder Perfectionist some more. And also this Jordana Complete Color. I still need to grab for this. Um, I've been using some of the other foundations more and hadn't been using this, but I have this in Honey Olive. So I'll report back on that. I really want to review that one. I've got kind of a variety of concealers here. That It CC Cream that has sort of the cooling tip. Really like that. It's a very different texture from their Bye Bye Under Eye. And I think I like this one better. Plus it's got quite an SPF in there. And then this Wake Me Up Concealer from Rimmel is like a newer thing that I've been wanting to use. It's something I'm not using so much for the coverage, but more for brightness. Wanting to use this Benefit Air Patrol Eye Primer, so that's just stuck in there. And then this is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle uh, Found Sealer, Foundation Concealer Combo. Really liked that when it came out, but didn't continue using it a whole lot, so I wanted to use it more. A couple concealers here, NYX Dark Circle Concealer, which I'm finding is just a little too light to be very corrective on me, and the shade I have it in is fair, so maybe I need a deeper shade. And this is my Bobbi Brown Concealer 
and powder duo in the shade natural so you get a little yellow tone powder there oh my nose itches ah way back here i've got my estee lauder loose powder which i love but i've just been i don't know grabbing for pressed powders more recently so i wanted that one out and also this thing which has been untouched in my collection for quite some time it's the airspun loose powder in translucent extra coverage i've been using it feeling like i can't quite pull it off. I don't know. I feel like it's pretty cakey on me. Maybe it's the foundations I'm combining it with. Maybe I need to really try to pair that with some more moisturizing type foundations. We'll see. This MAC Prep and Prime CC, this is in a shade called Adjust. It's kind of a peachy shade. It's really a little more peachy in person than it looks on camera. But I had thought I was going to use that to set the under eye and it would be extra corrective because it was peachy powder. Um, but it seems to work better just all over my face as just a light little setting powder. It's not the most luxuriously textured powder ever. Not super duper soft, but I'm still kind of liking it all over as opposed to just on the under eye. Got an hourglass powder. I just don't know why I can't get into these things too much, but I've got diffused light. I've had this for a while. I have not used it hardly at all. Um, it does have a little bit of glow to it. Even though it's been in this drawer, I've been bad about actually reaching for it a lot, so I'm just being real with you here. This brand is from Ulta, kind of a random brand. I think it's called 2B Sweetheart's Blush Lollipop. Just a pretty standard pink blush, to be honest with you. There's nothing amazing about it. There's nothing really bad about it. This is my Laura Geller Dream Sickle Blush. I love this shade. I'm so glad I brought this back. Total rediscovered love there. These would come under the heading of new things that I'm meaning to use. I haven't quite used yet. They're the City Color Cheek Stains. They're really pigmented. I have swatched them, but I need to use them on my cheeks. Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighters. I have all three shades of those, although only two are in here. So this is Peach Lights, and this is Radiant Lights. I have the Golden Lights one. I think that one's my favorite. Um, and it continues to be my favorite. It just, I don't know, it seems very pigmented. It seems like an even better texture than the other two. I got this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun, and I've been using that on and off. It's a really, like, kind of warm, bronzy type powder, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it around the hairline, um, even softly, kind of as a blush, it looks pretty. A few little palettes that I'll point out to you that I've been using. This is one I got recently off of Hot Look. I couldn't believe I hadn't tried this one before, but it's the Too face smoky palette. Really like it, actually. Um, very pretty, very pigmented shades. Um, those shades across the top are the ones that I found myself reaching for a lot. Cloves and Up in Smoke, very pretty colors. This is that Sephora Pantone Universe Facets of Marsala palette, I think it was called, and I just thought it looked so super fall-like, and I hadn't messed with it a whole lot since I first did a video or two on this, so I really wanted to bust this out and use it some more. And they're great quality shadows. I love this thing. And then the third palette I picked out, I think I mentioned this or showed a look I did with it on Snapchat. It's the Mally Loving Life Shadow Palette. And I have pretty much all of her palettes like this. And this one's a lot of fun. The textures of these shades are interesting. I mean, they're really buttery and creamy smooth, but you don't have like straight up flat matte shades. It's like there's a little bit of sheen in all of these. This is a really rich burgundy, really pretty alongside that pink. Also love this bronzy shade here along with the purple. That's a beautiful duo and an interesting kind of mint green in this palette as well. So a lot of cool colors to work with and you have the base in there also which I think is best used very very lightly. You don't want to go overboard with that base. And goodness just a few other things in here. I've got an infallible single. This is the endless Pearl. I was using this a little bit multitasking as a highlight, which is kind of nice, especially if you don't like super glowy highlights. Pulled in a couple of pretty ColourPop shadows. Baby T is that blue, and Kush is that really like highly shimmery taupe shade. This is a nice little Bare Minerals duo that has not been getting nearly enough love, but it is fantastic. Um, it's called The Promise, and it's got this buttery, really yellowy, um, soft shade there on the left, just a total sunshiny type shade, and then a matte taupe color on the right, and it's really great, very easy to use, just great for a quick look. I also pulled in this Prestige Total Intensity Shadow. It's one of those sort of like a duochrome type shade there with the teal, and it almost looks brownish at times as well. That shade is called Hocus Pocus. 
and then also this sample duo from Bare Minerals called the Epiphany. So there's your really shimmery taupe and matte brown. Soft Lips Cube Lip Balm. Love, love, love that thing. Um, I've been meaning to use this one. This melted in melted berry. Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stains. I adored these products so much. Why did I not use them more? So I put one in here to use it. This is the NYX Be Gone Lip Color Remover. I've been reaching for this quite a bit um, just as I'm lip swatching and going between between shades. It would appear that I've used a ton of it, but I think this was not super full when I started, so yeah. These are the LA Girl Endless Semi-Permanent Auto Lip Liners. I've been wearing these. Um, I would say they're not semi-permanent. Um, they're nice lip liners. They're pretty colorful, and I like these particular shades, but they're just not quite as long-wearing as you might expect. But there's Dark Plum is that one. This one is Natural, and then this shade is Wine. This is Love That Red Lipstick from the Revlon Super Lustrous line. Hadn't reached for this one in ages, and I still haven't used it, so this one needs to take priority now in this drawer. If you haven't tried these Maybelline Matte Lipsticks from the Color Sensational line, they're really nice, and this is the shade called Lust for Blush, so I wanted to use that one some more. Hadn't been reaching for pinky shades of that tone really in general lately too much. You see me going here? You see me doing this one-handed? Woo! I got this Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse in medium brown, and I fear it's getting a little dry for me. It used to be super, super creamy, and now it's starting to dry out. Mally Shadow Sticks that I want to use more of. Love Champagne. I've talked that one to death, but two of the shades that I have not used as much are Camo and Cobalt. And Camo is just this really pretty, deep, shimmery forest green. I love that shade. A couple of mascaras that I just need to be using before they dry up and go bad. My Benefit Roller Lash, which has been okay for me. It's better at holding curl than a lot of things I have. <clears throat> L'Oreal Voluminous does not hold a curl very well, but I do love the way it builds volume on my lashes. And then the liners I pulled out, um, a couple of those Smashbox liners with the twist-off caps that kind of self-sharpen the ends. I really like those. I like the way they go on. I wish they were a little more long-wearing, um, but I have the blue and black there. And then those are the Balms Mr. Right Now liners. I have a nude and kind of a berry burgundy shade to try. I haven't really gotten to the ones from the Balm yet, but I have been using these from Smashbox, and I love that blue. That's a really true beautiful blue. And the shade name on that one is Midnight. So I hope that was somewhat interesting or helpful to you to kind of go through that drawer with me. If you'd like me to do more updates on this drawer as I swap it out and put new things in it every few weeks, I'd be happy to do that. Let me know if you're interested, and I will talk to you guys again next time. Bye!